Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Friday, February 7th, 2020. Today I'm going to recap the NBA trade deadline and who did what. Go over the NBA slate from last night. Look ahead to tonight's games as well as the NHL and college basketball. Then we'll pick all the major awards for the Oscars. Then my best bet of the day. All right. The trade deadline, it was fun. There was a lot of unexpected trades, a lot of last-minute trades, some expected, some uh, teams that we weren't expecting to be involved in certain trades being involved. So we're going to start um, with um, late last night, Sacramento trading Dwayne Dedman to Atlanta for Jabari Parker and Alex Len. Atlanta also getting two second-round picks. So those are just two bad teams swapping uh, big men and um, a former lottery pick. And Sacramento sent Atlanta 2020 in a 2021 second. Um, Memphis signed Dylan Brooks to a three-year $35 million extension. It's kind of irrelevant. Regarding trades, Philadelphia acquired um, Glenn Robinson and Alec Burks from uh, Golden State. And uh, Philadelphia sent draft competition to the Warriors. So two Warrior starters are now going to be reserves on Philadelphia. Yeah, a 2020 second rounder via Dallas and a 2021 second rounder via Denver and a 2022 second rounder via Toronto. And then the Knicks are hiring Leon Rose, the player agent, to uh, be the franchise's next president of basketball operations. Um, and it's surprising that they did this so quick. I think they rushed it. But it may work out because we've seen uh, agents go to uh, the Lakers and Golden State, respectively, and um, turn their fortunes. Lakers out the one seed in the West this year, and then Golden State won a bunch of titles. And then uh, Miami traded Justice Winslow, Deion Waiters, and James Johnson to Memphis for Andre Godala, Solomon Hill, and Jay Crowder. The thing about this, this was supposed to be a three-teamer with Oklahoma City, and Oklahoma City was supposed to send the Daniel Gallinari to Miami, but that fell through, that part of it, so they just did a two-teamer with uh, Memphis. Um, the Clippers traded guard Derek Walton Jr. to the Hawks for cash. And this was a big one. Golden State traded D'Angelo Russell to the Timberwolves. And going back, Andrew Wiggins, a 2021 protected first-round pick, top three, and a 2022 second-round pick. And Jacob Evans and Amari Spellman also to the Timberwolves. So Golden State literally blowing up their team. And then get Andrew Wiggins and heavily protected pick, which they might get. And if it lands in the top three, then that becomes unprotected in 2021. So Golden State might get that pick this year, if not definitely next year. That is a great pick to have if you're Golden State. Because Minnesota was desperate. And... Good on Golden State for using the Knicks to up the price for uh, Minnesota. Houston traded Jordan Bell to Memphis for Bruno Caboclo. Um, Memphis has the right to swap the lease of the favorable of Dallas and Miami second round picks for 2023. And Houston's second round pick in 2023. Oh, for Houston's second round pick in 2023. So like Houston's pick is not 31 or 32. Um, Portland traded Scala BCA in cash to the Hawks. And then Minnesota has joined the Miami Memphis deal. And Gorgie Dang went to Memphis for James Johnson. And then um, Cleveland finalizing a trade 
for DeAndre or Andre Drummond. That was the surprise one to me. Future second round pick to the Pistons, lesser of, of Golden State or Cleveland's 2023 pick. And then uh, Brandon Knight and John Henson. I think that um, Detroit didn't get enough back in return from Drummond, but at the same time, what are the Cavs doing? Like, now you have three big men, and one of them are going to come off the bench, unless they buy out Tristan Thompson. If they buy out Tristan Thompson, then get ready for like Houston and Boston and all these contenders to come at them. But now you have two overpaid but good players in Kevin Love and Andre Drummond in your front court. I'm interested to see how that works out, and Drummond can opt out at the end of the year and become a free agent. Washington traded Jordan McRae to Denver for Shabazz Napier. Um, this one surprised me. I thought Shabazz would help Denver. Philadelphia traded James Ennis to the Magic for a second-round pick. Then the Clippers, Knicks, and Wizards pulled off the three-team deal that landed the Clippers Marcus Morris and Isaiah Thomas. And then Jerome Robinson goes to the Wizards. And then Mo Harkless, a 2020 first round pick. And then draft rights to 2018 second round pick, Isif Sanin. And. Rights to a 2021 first round pick swap with the Clippers, unless the pick is one through four. And then a 2021 second round pick via Detroit. Oh, and the. Oh, wait a minute. I missed it. Yeah, the Clippers first round pick. So the Knicks got a lot back for Marcus Morris, more than I thought they'd get back for him. So an interesting trade deadline. Um, and. It's going to be uh, interesting to see how these trades work out. The one that fascinates me the most is the russell Wiggins swap. What's Golden State do with Wiggins? Do they eventually trade him to in a package to get that third star to come in with Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson? Draymond Green signed an extension, so he's um, still going to be around, or maybe they use him in, in the trade package. And then, obviously, their um, lottery pick, I think that it's certainly in play for a trade as well. So that's the team I'm most fascinated about this summer because I think Golden State wants to get right back to title contention when their backcourt's back fully healthy and they can get that third star in there as well. Now we'll go over NBA results from last night. Only five games on the docket. Some interesting results, to say the least. Um, Knicks over to Magic, 105-103. Pelicans over to Bulls, 125-119. Bucks over to the 76ers, 112-101. Blazers over to Spurs, 125-117. And Rockets upset the Lakers, 121-111. Tonight's games... There's a lot more of them because it's a Friday night. 7 o'clock, the Mavericks at the Wizards. The Grizzlies at the Sixers. 7.30, the Hawks at the Celtics. 8 o'clock, the Pistons at the Thunder. 8 o'clock, ESPN, the Raptors at the Pacers. Second time in three days that these two teams are playing. I would make this line Raptors by 2.5 on the road, and it's a pick em. So, I would pick the Raptors here. They are on a really good run. I think they're going to make it 13 straight. And too bad the uh, Eastern Conference standings aren't closer. Or else they'd be giving the Bucks a good run for a one seed. If it wasn't for the great season of Giannis Dedekumbo. So, give me the Raptors on the road and a pick them. 9 o'clock, the Rockets at the Suns. 10 o'clock, the Heat at the Kings. 10.30 ESPN, the Trailblazers at the Jazz. Utah is an 8.5 point favorite. I would make this Utah by 12.5. 
So I laid the points with the Jazz. I think this they are due for a spanking here on the road. Um, or I'm sorry, at home. Portland on the second of a back-to-back -back going to altitude. That's very tough. So give me the Jazz minus the eight and a half tonight. And the rest of the weekend, 5 o'clock, the Bucks at the Magic. 7 o'clock, the Knicks at the Pistons. Mavericks at the Hornets. 7.30, Nets at the Raptors. Pelicans at the Pacers. 8 o'clock, Clippers at the Timberwolves. Saturday, primetime, Lakers Warriors on ABC. Mike Breen, Mark Jackson, Jeff Van Gundy. I'm going to take the Lakers on the road in this one. Nuggets at the Suns. And 10 o'clock, the Spurs at the Kings Sunday. 3.30 Celtics at the Thunder, 6 o'clock the Grizzlies at the Wizards, the Bulls at the 76ers, the Knicks at the Hawks, 7 o'clock NBA TV, the Jazz at the Rockets, 7.30 the Clippers at the Cavs, and 9 o'clock the Heat at the Trailblazers. Now we'll talk hockey, go over last night's big slate and look ahead to tonight and the rest of the weekend. Red Wings over to Sabres 4-3 in a shootout. Canadians over to Ducks 3-2 in overtime. Lightning over the Penguins 4-2. Golden Knights over to Panthers 7-2. Isles over to Kings 5-3. Devils over to Flyers 5-0. Avs over to Senators 4-1. Jets over to Blues 4-2. Wild over to Canucks 4-2. Preds over to Flames 3-2. Hurricanes over to Coyotes 5-3. And Sharks over to Oilers 6-3. Tonight, only four games, 7 o'clock, the Sabres at the Rangers, Ducks at the Maple Leafs, Red Wings at the Blue Jackets, and 8.30 to Wild at the Stars. Tomorrow's a big slate. 2 o'clock, Senators at the Jets, 3 o'clock, Coyotes at the Bruins, 7 o'clock, Maple Leafs at the Canadians, Islanders at the Lightning, Penguins at the Panthers, Kings at the Devils, Flyers at the Capitals, Avs at the Blue Jackets, Preds at the Oilers, 8 o'clock, Stars at the Blues, 10 o'clock, the Flames at the Canucks, and the Hurricanes. At the Golden Knights. Sunday, smaller slate. 12.30, Big NBC, Bruins, Red Wings. Why are the Red Wings on Big NBC? Like, did they not know they were going to be this terrible? Maybe not this terrible, but they're a lottery team. They're the worst team in the league. This is like the Knicks being on ABC. Give me the Bruins big on the road. 3 o'clock, the Ducks at the Sabres. 6 o'clock, the Kings at the Rangers. 7 o'clock, the Blackhawks at the Jets. And 7.30, NBCSN, the Avs at the Wild. I think the Avs will get it down the road. I think they're better than the Wild. So, um, you mean the Avs in a competitive game on the road. Let's say that. College basketball. We'll go over last night's busy slate. And then look ahead to tonight and the weekend. We'll just pick the game straight up for Saturday and Sunday. Because I don't have... My number's in front of me right now. Green Bay over IUPUI 91-85. UNT Asheville over SC Upstate 84-71. Longwood over Charleston Southern 71-63. Presbyterian over Gardner-Webb 65-61. High Point over Hampton 88-85. Charleston over William & Mary 68-50. Drexel over James Madison 78-67. Towson over Delaware 84-78. Alon over UNT Wilmington 62-56. Wright State over Detroit Mercy, 98-86. UConn over Tulsa, 72-56. Cincinnati over Wichita State, 80 -79. Stetson over Florida Gulf Coast, 65-62. North Florida over NJIT, 82-75. Lipscomb over North Alabama, 73-71. Liberty over Jacksonville, 71-62. Texas State over Coastal, 163. Marshall over Southern Miss, 72-58. UTSA over Old Dominion, 85-81 in overtime. Charlotte over Utah, 68-64. Bryant over St. Francis, Brooklyn, 73-60. Mount St. Mary's over Long Island, 67-63. Robert Morris over Wagner, 67-62. St. Francis, Pennsylvania over Sacred Heart, 70-68. App State over Texas Arlington, 57-50. UCF over East Carolina, 68-64. Winthrop over Campbell, 62-53. Northern Kentucky over Oakland, 73-70. Merrimack over Fairleigh Dickinson, 57-53. North Texas over Middle Tennessee, 75-70. Belmont over Murray State, 71-64. Number 24, Colorado over Cal, 71-65. Louisiana over Georgia State, 80-78. Rice over UAB, 80-72. Milwaukee over UIC, 74-57. Texas Rio Grande over UMKC, 73-60. Georgia Southern over UL Monroe, 67-65. North Dakota over Oral Roberts, 74-68. New Mexico State over Chicago State, 71-49. 
Southeast Missouri State over Jacksonville State, 76-72. Moorhead State over SIU Edwardsville, 58-49. Eastern Kentucky over Eastern Illinois, 91-84. Tennessee State over Austin Peay, 70-68. Tennessee Martin over Tennessee Tech, 74-62. Number 23, Arizona over USC, 85-80. Number 25, Houston over Tulane, 75-62. Western Kentucky over Louisiana Tech, 65-54. Montana State over Idaho, 72-50. Northern Colorado over Southern Utah, 68-60. Montana over Eastern Washington, 92-82. Northern Arizona over Idaho State, 88-87 in overtime. Weber State over Sacramento State, 70-66. Utah over Stanford, 64-56 in overtime. UC Irvine over UC Davis, 83-72. Cal Baptist over Cal State Bakersfield, 74-69. BYU over Portland, 85-54. Pepperdine over Santa Clara, 91-77. Santa Barbara over Hawaii, 76-66. Number two, Gonzaga over Loyola Marymount, 85-67. Pacific over San Francisco, 60-48. And St. Mary's over San Diego, 66-60. All right. Tonight's slate should be very interesting. Um, a lot of um, Ivy League and whatnot. So... 5 o'clock on ESPNU, Harvard at Yale. Yale's a five-and-a-half point favorite. I would make it Yale by five. So I feel like I'm getting a half point here with Harvard. 7 o'clock on CBS Sports Network, you have Kent State at Northern Illinois. Kent State's a two-point road favorite. I would actually make this Northern Illinois by two and a half. So I think the wrong team's favored. Giving Northern Illinois plus the two to win this game outright. Penn at Columbia. Davidson at VCU on ESPN2 at 7 o'clock. The last couple of games I said were uh, it's 7 o'clock games. So VCU, a nine point home favorite over Davidson. I would make this VCU by 7. So, I actually think Davidson's kind of valuable here. I think Davidson's overrated. You know how I feel about Davidson this year. So, give me Davidson for once, probably this season, getting 9. I don't know if they'll win the game, but it'll be um, competitive. Canisius at Ryder, Fairfield at Siena. ESPNU, Niagara at... Manhattan, that's um, an interesting game in the uh, Metro Atlantic. Manhattan's a six-and-a-half point favorite. I would make it five. So give me Niagara plus the uh, six-and-a-half. I'm getting some value here. St. Peter's at Marist. Dartmouth at Brown. Princeton at Cornell. 7.30, Iona, Knipiak, 8 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, number 9, Maryland at number 20, Illinois. This is a great game for a Friday night. I would make this Maryland by 2, and it's Illinois by 3. Give me uh, Maryland plus the 3. I know Maryland's bad on the road. I get it. But I think this is a nice spot for the Terps here to steal a nice road win. 9 o'clock on ESPN 2, nice little um, Sun Belt action between... South Alabama and Troy. I would make this a pick 'em, and it's South Alabama by four. Give me Troy in the four. I don't know if they'll win, but I just think these two teams are more even than given credit for. And then last but not least on ESPNU, Central Michigan at Buffalo. Probably the better of the couple Mac games on paper. Um, I would make this Buffalo by two, and it's Buffalo by five and a half. So give me Central Michigan plus the points. I think that uh, Buffalo will probably win, though. Now I'm going to do straight up picks the rest of the way. 10 o'clock ESPN 2, number three Kansas at TCU, Kansas. 12 o'clock ACC Newark, Miami at Florida State, Florida State. 12 o'clock on the Mothership ESPN, 18 LCO, number 11, Auburn. Tough one. Um, 
Hmm. Go with LSU with the upset here. Bounce back spot. 12 o'clock on Fox, number 16, Michigan State of Michigan. Let's go Michigan for a signature win. 12 o'clock, the poll at Georgetown, Georgetown. ACC Network, Boston College at Virginia Tech, Virginia Tech. ESPNU, SMU at Temple, SMU. Slay Rock, New Hampshire, Milwaukee at IUPUI. CBS Sports Network, Rhode Island at George Washington, Rhode Island. 1 o'clock, CBS, number 15, Kentucky at Tennessee, Kentucky. Holy Cross at BU, VMI at the Citadel. 1 o'clock, ICC Network, Texas A&M at South Carolina. Let's go with the Gamecocks at home. 105, Rio Grande, Chicago State. 2 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, St. Louis at number 6, Dayton. Dayton. 2 o'clock, ASPNU, number 13, West Virginia at Oklahoma. Tough one here. Um, let's go with the Sooners in an upset here. North Texas at UAB, Purdue at Indiana on ESPN. Indiana, letdown for Purdue. Florida at Ole Miss. Florida, bounce back itch kind of spot after um, losing the Georgia, almost losing to Georgia. For a minute, Western Carolina is a good game in the SoCon. These two teams are a combined 34 and 12. Let's go with Western Carolina at home. Towson at Drexel, Army and American, Georgia Tech at Pitt, Pitt. Richmond at Fordham, we'll go with Richmond. Texas Arlington at Coastal Carolina, Oral Roberts at North Dakota State, James Madison at Delaware, Akron at or hosting Eastern Michigan, Maine at Birmingham, Lehigh at Lafayette, Navy at Colgate, 230 on Fox, number 12, CNL at number 10, Villanova. Let's go with the Wildcats. 3 o'clock NBC, SN St. Bonaventure at Duquesne. Duquesne. Winthrop at Longwood, Arkansas State at Little Rock, Georgia State at UL Monroe, Robert Morris at Sacred Heart, South Dakota at North Dakota, 330 Miami of Ohio at Ohio. SDC Network, Arkansas at Missouri. Let's go with Arkansas. 4 o'clock ESPN, Virginia at number 5, Louisville. Louisville. Minnesota at number 22, Penn State on the Big Ten Network. We'll go with Penn State. Portland State at Southern Utah. Texas Tech at Texas. Let's go with Chris Beard's team. CBS Sports Network, South Florida at Memphis. We'll go with Memphis. Ball State at Western Michigan, Northeastern at Hofstra. Texas State at Appalachian State. Central Arkansas at McNeese. Sam Houston State at Nichols. Drake at Northern Iowa is a nice one. These two teams are combined 36 and 11. We'll go with Northern Iowa at home. Howard at Florida A&M. Maryland Eastern, Morgan State. NC Central, Coppin State. Seattle at Utah Valley. St. Francis at Wagner. Mount St. Mary's at St. Francis, Brooklyn. UTSA at Charlotte. Central Con State at Bryant. FIU at FAU. NC A&T at Bethune Cookman. UMBC at UMass Lowell. Alana Charleston. Jacksonville at NJIT. Green Bay at UIC, 415. Moran State at Eastern Illinois. 430 Toledo at Bowling Green. Gardner Webb at SCF State. Merrimack at Long Island. East Tennessee State at Mercer. Eastern Kentucky at SIU Edwardsville. Liberty at North Alabama. Lipscomb at Kennesaw State. Presbyterian at Campbell. St. Joe's at LaSalle, 5 o'clock on BCSN. We'll go with LaSalle at home. Tennessee Tech at Southeast Missouri State. Alabama State at Mississippi Valley State. Bucknell at Loyola, Maryland. Jacksonville State at Tennessee Martin. Montana State at Eastern Washington. 515 Omaha at South Dakota State. Southeast Louisiana and in Incarnate Word. 530 Purdue Fort Wayne at Denver. Hampton at Charleston Southern. New Orleans at Stephen F. Austin. 6 o'clock ESPN 2. No Oklahoma State at number 1 Baylor. We'll go with Baylor at home. 6 o'clock ESPN, number 7 Duke at North Carolina. I'm very fascinated to see what this line comes out to be. We'll just project it for this game because it's still Duke Carolina, even though these two teams are um, not even close to each other this year. I would make this Duke by 6.5 at Chapel Hill. I would probably lay it with Duke if um, it turns out to be somewhere in that range. If it's anything higher than 6.5, I'll take the Tar Heels in the points. But I think Duke will win the game. Although, I won't be shocked if Carolina stays competitive. This is their Super Bowl this year. Nebraska at number 17, Iowa. Let's go with Iowa at home. 6 o'clock on CBS Sports Network. St. John's at number 21, Creighton. I like Creighton. Stanford at number 24, Colorado. Colorado. Wyoming at New Mexico. New Mexico. Austin P at Belmont. That's a good game in the OVC. Let's go with Belmont at home. Penn at Cornell, Cleveland State at Youngstown State, Alabama at Georgia on SEC Network. We'll go Georgia at home. Rice at Middle Tennessee, Harvard at Brown, East Carolina at Tulane on ESPNU. We'll go with Tulane in the bounce back spot at home. 
630 Texas Southern at Prairie View. Alcorn State of Jackson State Southern at Grambling. Delaware State of Norfolk State 7 o'clock. Louisiana Tech at Marshall. UTEP at Old Dominion Chattanooga at Wofford. North, North Florida at Florida Gulf Coast. Vermont at Hartford. Radford at High Point. Detroit Mercy at Northern Kentucky. Dartmouth at Yale. William & Mary at UNC Wilmington. Princeton at Columbia. San Jose State at Nevada. We'll go with Nevada at home. Oakland at Wright State. UC Riverside at Cal State Northridge. 7.30. Southern Miss at Western Kentucky. 8 o'clock CBS Sports Network number 4. San Diego State at Air Force. We'll go with San Diego State to remain unbeaten. Indiana State at Illinois State. Cal at Utah. We'll go with Utah at home. Providence at Xavier on Fox Sports 1. We'll go with Xavier at home. New Mexico State at UMKC. Georgia Southern at Louisiana. ESPNU Fresno at UNLV. We'll go with UNLV at home. Missouri State at Southern Illinois. Lamar at Abilene Christian. Northwestern State at Houston Baptist. ESPN 2. Kansas State Iowa State. We'll go with the Cyclones at home. Wake Forest at Syracuse. We'll go with Syracuse at home. 8.30 SEC and Eric Vandy at Mississippi State. We'll go Mississippi State at home. I think they win that big because Vandy's coming off that first SEC win in over a year. Murray State at Tennessee State. That's a nice one in that conference. These two teams are combined 32 and 15. We'll go with Murray State on the road. Alabama A&M at Arkansas Pine Bluff. Sacramento State at Idaho State at 9 o'clock. San Francisco BYU. We'll go with BYU at home. Northern Arizona at Weber State. Montana at Idaho at 9.30. 10 o'clock ESPN, number two Gonzaga at St. Mary's. I think it's competitive, but Gonzaga wins. UCLA, number 23 Arizona on ESPN 2 will go with Arizona. USC at Arizona State will go with Bobby Hurley's team to get a win. Hawaii at Cal Poly. Boise State at Utah State on CBS Sports Network will go Utah State at home. Grand Canyon at Cal Baptist. Pacific hosts Pepperdine will go Pacific at home. Portland at San Diego will go San Diego at home. UC Irvine at UC Santa Barbara. That's a good game on ESPNU in the Big West. Combined 30 and 17. We'll go with Santa Barbara in a signature spot here. And then 1030 on the Pac-12 Network, number 14, Oregon at Oregon State. We'll go with the Ducks on the road. Sunday, 12 o'clock, Fox Sports 1. Number 19, Butler at Marquette. We'll go with... Marquette at home. Cincinnati at UConn on CBS Sports Network will go with, hmm, I think UConn may win this game, although you could argue let down for both of these teams. I think Cincinnati's going to win, actually. Stanford at UNC Greensboro at 1 o'clock. CBS, Ohio State at Wisconsin. Um, let's go with Ohio State here. Wisconsin's in a free fall. Post the Kobe King stuff, 2 o'clock. On ESPN 3, Tulsa at UCF. We'll go with Tulsa on the road. Bounce back spot. I want to have Fairfield St. Peter's at Monmouth, Niagara at Ryder, Manhattan at Kanipiak. 2 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, Evansville at Bradley. We'll go with Bradley. George Mason at UMass at 2.30. We'll go with George Mason. 3 o'clock, ESPN, Wichita State at number 25, Houston. Great game. Let's go with Houston at home. ESPN, U, Valparaiso at Loyola, Chicago. We'll go with Loyola, Chicago. 6 o'clock, ACC Network, Notre Dame at Clemson. We'll pick Notre Dame on the road. ESPNU, Washington, Washington State will go with the Cougars at home. They're having a better year than Washington, and Washington just sucks this year. 6.30, Big Ten Network. Northwestern and Rutgers will go with the Scarlet Knights at home. Before we do best bet, I'm going to do my picks for the Oscars. These odds are via DraftKings. Um, so many um, interesting... Uh, Odds for these. A lot of big favorites. Best picture. 1917's minus 200. Parasite plus 275. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 9 to 1. Joker, 10 to 1. Jojo Rabbit, Irishman, 50 to 1. And Little Women, Marriage Story. And, oh, Four versus Ferrari's 250 to 1. Little Women and Marriage Story are 100 to 1. In terms of value, Joker's the best pick at 10 to 1. But I think 1917 will probably win. Let's go with the surprise here at Joker at 10 to 1. Best director, Sam Mendes. Of 1917 minus 500, Bong Joon Ho, Paradise or Parasite, three to one. Todd Phillips of Joker and Martin Cerise of The Irishman, fifty to one, and um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood's uh, Quentin Tarantini, seventeen to one. I'm gonna go with Mendez here and lay the minus 500. Best actress Renee Zellweger from Judy at minus 2500. Scarlett Johansson of Marriage Story. 10 to 1. 
Cynthia Ivry and Harriet twenty to one, Charlize Theron of Bombshell twenty five to one, and Soray's Ronan of Little Women thirty three to one. I'm gonna lay it with uh, Renee Zellweger of Judy. Best Actor: Walking Phoenix, Joker fi minus um five thousand. Adam Driver, Marriage Story ten to one. Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood thirty three to one. Antonio Bendraras and Pain and Glory fifty to one and Jonathan Price of the Two Pupes sixty six to one. I'm gonna lay to five thousand Joaquin Phoenix. Best supporting actor Brad Pitt in Once Upon a Hollywood minus um thirty three hundred about I'd really um three thousand um three hundred thirty five not um three hundred, my bad. Um Joe Pesky of the Irishman twelve to one, Al Pacino of the Irishman. 28 to 1. Tom Hanks in um, uh, The Neighborhood Movie, 33 to 1. And Anthony Hopkins of The Two Popes, 50 to 1. Brad Pitt's going to win that. Best Supporting Actress, Laura Dern, Marriage Story, minus 2,500. Margot Robbie, Bombshell, 12 to 1. Florence Pugh, Little Women, 14 to 1. Scarlett Johansson, Jojo Rabbit, 20 to 1. And Kathy Bates, Richard Jewell, 50 to 1. Laura Dern will probably win, but I wouldn't rule out Scarlett Johansson at 21. That's the best get, uh, value play, but Laura Dern will win. Best animated feature film, Toy Story 4, minus 125. Claws, minus 112. Missing Link, 8 to 1. I Lost My Body, 33 to 1. And How to Chain Your Dragon, Hidden World, 50 to 1. I think Toy Story will win that. I think that's easy money. Best cinematography, 1917, minus 5,000. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 17 to 1. Irishman 21, Joker and Lighthouse 25 to 1, 1917 is going to win that. Best International Feature Film, Parasite minus 10,000, Pain and Glory 17 to 1, Honeyland and Net Les Miserables 33 to 1 each, and then Corpus Christi 51, Parasite's going to win that. Best Production Design, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood minus 167, 1917 2 to 1, Parasite plus 375, Jojo Rabbit and the Irishman 51. I think 1917 is going to win that. I liked it at 2 to 1. Best Original Screenplay, Parasite minus 265, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood plus 160, Marriage Story 12 to 1, 1917 33 to 1, and Knives Out 33 to 1. Once Upon a Time at plus 160 is pretty good. So I'm going to go with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood at plus 160. And Best Adapted Screenplay, Jojo Rabbit minus 177, Little Women plus 125, Irishman 10 to 1, Joker 25 to 1, The Two Pokes 50 to 1. I kind of like Little Women at plus 125. I like that a lot. Best Original Score, Joker minus 670, 1917, 4 to 1, Little Women, 17 to 1, Marriage Story, and Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker, 33 to 1. Joker's winning that. Best Original Song, Love Me Again, Rocket Man, minus 715, Stand Up from Harriet, plus 450, Toy Story 4, I Can't Let You Throw Yourself Away, 12 to 1. Into the Unknown from Frozen 2, 14 to 1, and I'm Standing With You from Breakthrough at 50 to 1. Love Me Again is going to win. It's Elton John and Taron Edgerton. This one, a Golden Globe, I think it'll win here at the Oscars. It's a good song by an icon and an up and coming star. So I'm giving you uh, Love Me Again from Rocket Man by Elton John and the uh, Taron Edgerton. Best film editing. Parasite minus 110. 4 versus 40 minus 106. Joker 9 to 1. Irishman 10 to 1. Jojo Rabbit 33 to 1. I'm going to go 4 versus Ferrari here. And minus 106. Best visual effects. 1917 minus 150. Avengers Endgame plus 250. Irishman plus 550. Lion King 7 to 1. And Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker 20 to 1. I like the Lion King at 7 to 1. And the irony here is that Elton John was heavily involved with the Lion King with all the music, so he'd take home two Oscars essentially here. So give me the Lion King my, at 7 to 1. I think that's good value of the new Lion King movie. There's a really good uh, effects in that movie. Best animated short film Hair Love minus 305, Kit Bull plus 225, Memorable 8 to 1, Sister 14 to 1, and The Sarah Daughter 33 to 1. Hair Love will probably win that at minus 305. Documentary feature, 
American Factory, minus 265. For Sama, plus 175. Honeyland, 5 to 1. The K, 50 to 1. And Edge of Democracy, 50 to 1. I like for Sama at plus 175. I think that's a good one. Best documentary, short subject. Learning to skateboard in a war zone, minus 670. St. Louis Superman, 4 to 1. Into the Absence, 10 to 1. Life Overtakes Me, 14 to 1. And Walk Ron Cha Cha, 40 to 1. I'm going to go with Learning to Skateboard in a War Zone. Live Short Action. Or Live Action Short Film, my bad. Brotherhood, minus 134. Neighbors Window, even money. Saria, 8 to 1. A Sister, 14 to 1. As well as the NAFTA Football Club at 1400. I like Brotherhood at minus 134. Best Costume Design. Little Women, minus 305. Jojo Rabbit plus 275. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood plus 550. Joker 20 to 1. Irishman 50 to 1. I'm going to go with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood at plus 550, although Joker at 21 is pretty enticing as well. Best Makeup and Hairstyling. Bombshell minus 181. Or bom- Bombshell minus 835. Joker plus 450. Judy 40 to 1. Or 14 to 1. My bad. 9 to 17. 33 to 1. And The Maleficent Mistress of the Evil 40 to 1. Let's go with the Joker plus 450. I like that one a lot. Best sound editing, 1917 minus 278, Ford vs. Ferrari plus 150, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker, 25 to 1, and Joker, 28 to 1. I'm going to go with Ford vs. Ferrari plus 150. I think that's a good pick. And last but not least, best sound mixing, 1917 at minus 278, Ford vs. Ferrari at plus 175, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 20 to 1, Joker, 25 to 1, and Add Astra, 28 to 1. I like Ford versus Ferrari again here at plus 175. I think you're getting a lot of value with that movie in those last two um, choices. So give me Ford versus Ferrari at plus 175. Although um, Hollywood and Joker at 20 and 25 to 1 respectively is pretty enticing. And now my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, two picks. One in college basketball and one in the NBA. Um, it's interesting choices for me here. Um, I went one and one last night on the week so far, eight and two, so not bad. Um, Hmm. Tough one for me here for uh, college basketball because um, I'm close with a lot of these lines. Let's go with Troy plus the four against South Alabama. I don't feel good about it. But that's the one that we will roll with because I am pretty off with that. That's a four-point difference in that one. So give me Troy getting four at home against um, South Alabama. And the second one, um, I think it's just a lot of these are really, really um, good calls. Um I have Toronto as a one-point favorite, by the way, against Indiana. Um, I'm going to go with the Mavericks, minus the three at the Wizards. I don't feel good about that because I know Doncic and no Porzingis, but um, the Wizards are just really bad. I think there's a chance that Hardaway can shoot the lights out and um, can lead them to a win or other those role guys that have been really good this year that could step up. So giving the Mavericks minus three at home against the Wizards, or on the road against the Wizards. That's it for today. I'll be back Monday recapping the Oscars, college basketball, NBA, and NHL. Look ahead to uh, the next week. Any other news in the world of sports, I'll have as well. Hope you guys have a great weekend, everyone.